Yo, what's up? Cinema 4D. Don't know if you've used it. I've used it. So I'm going to tell you how to make a chair. It's a very simple chair, but it's a chair nonetheless. So first off, going to make a cube, and then we're going to press the letter C. This is going to make it editable. Then we can squash it down. Squash it in. like so. Then hit the middle mouse button. It's going to take us into this view. We're going to go to the top view. Yeah. My, I've got an Apple Mighty Mouse which is they're good. It's just a bit annoying really. All right. Command C, Command V to duplicate the cube. Now we're going to grab the rotation tool. We'll use the key R to um, Grab that, hold down shift, and then we can, you know, scale to and move to whole units. E to grab the move tool, and then we're going to move it so that it lines up. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to work out how I do this. I've forgotten. There we go. Alt D hides the um, that the cursor thing. Oh, grab our move tool again. Scroll wheel to zoom in. Zoomed in far too far. Why do I keep on doing this badly? And as you can see, that's lined up like that. Now, what we're going to do? Hold D to bring our thing back. Shift click on our second rectangle. Command C, Command V, or Control if you're on PC. That's going to give us two new cubes, as you can see in our objects panel. Hit the R key to rotate. Hold down Shift again. All right. We're going to rotate it round like such to 180. E, grab our move tool. Right, what I've done wrong, which you can do right, is make this a square. And the way you do that is basically. Well, oh, I see what I've done wrong. Right. What I need to do is this needs to go like that. I'm not going to do this exact because um, I don't have much time. I've got to abide by the 10 minute rule. Like that, okay. Happy, happy, happy. Okay, so we've got our square and middle mouse click back into here. As you can see, this is going to be like our seat. Okay, now we're going to make another cube. Tell you what, I'm just going to duplicate this. Control Command C, Command V. Just going to give us two of them, scale it in. Oh, sorry, T. Grab that. E. Move it. Mine's not going to be perfect. Yours is going to be much better. But, you know, I'm just telling you how to do this. Nope. Hold down the Alt key to rotate around. Alright. T. Remember to grab our scale, bring this down. Ooh. Oops. And then spread this out. I'll tell you what, if you click here, it's going to let us edit the uh, faces. Going to grab that. E for our move tool, and I'm just going to pull it out like that. Hold down the Alt and left mouse click, and as you can see, I've got this kind of cool thing. What I want to do is 
right click and I'm going to press the knife tool which lets you choose corners I'm going to knife from there to there from there to there now click here it's going to let us choose our vertices I'm going to grab this middle one make sure we've got our move tool and then bring that down so you see the kind of chair that we're going for next we're going to make the legs so going to come out from here go to our right view and the way we do the legs so we're going to grab our bezier curve and we're going to start it from here Uh, basically, we're going to draw the profile of the leg. I'm going to just going to do like a kind of like a simplish leg. Then you can edit it by making sure we're in vertices mode. Grab a point and then move it down. like such. Okay, then we're going to grab our object selection, grab that, hold down our left mouse button here and choose lathe. And all we've got to do is set it to the right axis. Drag our spline, drop it on the lathe and there we go instantly. Let's change view, middle mouse click, middle mouse click, we've now got a chair leg. Now it's not very well positioned so I'm just going to quickly line it up. Obviously as you can see mine overlaps quite badly, it doesn't fit in very well but I'm going to let you do that. Now we can, we can rename some of these, I'm not going to but I'm going to show you how, you just double click Ooh. chair leg enter. Right, command C, command V, move it over there, command click, oh sorry, shift click to grab two, command C, command V, drag it back to there. Oh dear, we are running out of time. Okay, well I'm going to do this very quickly. As you can see they overlap really badly, I don't care. Grab one of these, command C, command V, Bring it here, hit the R key to rotate, shift, we're going to rotate it to like a 80 sort of degree angle, 75 will do for the tutorial. Grab faces mode, grab the face, bring it out, sorry I keep on hitting V because I'm used to V being the select tool, ok, object mode. You want to line them up better, but command C, command V. And as you can see, you can do a much neater job than I'm doing. And one more piece. Grab this piece down here. Duplicate it. Bring it up. Back. Faces mode, grab the top face. Ugh. Top face. Why can't I bring that up? That is very annoying. There you go, selected that. Bring that out. bring that out and there you go you see what I mean you can do a similar thing here as I did with there you know slicing it and making it curved slightly and there you have a simple chair I will texture it in the next tutorial because I have about 20 seconds left um, do you, to do that go file new material double click on it where it says texture click there and locate to a piece of wood there you go the end that's how you do that